Hello and welcome to another update video about Litecoin. Um, the analysis hasn't really changed. We're still looking at a possible wave two correction here in the yellow support area. Wave one rallied between um, June, end of June and the July top here at around about $115. The idea is that now price is coming down in this WXY correction. The spike that we've seen yesterday fits best into this structure that we are dealing with a more complex correction. Then price came down afterwards quite impulsively. And this looks a bit like a flat pattern, which could be um, could could develop, which means it could be still within the B wave. Yeah. So just to show you the micro count for this, the possible micro count that we're looking at here, this could have been um, an A wave, uh, a B wave low, and we could be following up in a or to the upside in a C wave. So A, B, C, in a larger B wave, um, because if this was already the B wave, it would be quite weak. What I will give you now is the resistance area for the B wave, which means as long as we stay below that, uh, yeah, below that, um, the path down can be followed with a high likelihood. So it is at least not unlikely that price now goes higher. Uh, into this region between 101 and 104 dollars. However, it would be against the trend at the moment, which is down locally. So, um, but either way, so overall, we would expect this wave two to finish in this support area. Yeah. So support is 94 dollars. It reacted to it, which is good. Okay, the golden ratio. Um, the way it looks at the moment, because we haven't got a reversal pattern yet, it is probably still set to go lower. Next support is $88, $89. And as long as price doesn't break and sustain below that level, we can see a third wave rally afterwards Yeah, to basically new highs above $115 um, in a third wave. Yeah, So that's just something we can expect as long as that support is holding. But at the moment, while we're already in the middle of the support area, there is no reversal pattern yet. Um, we have obviously this resistance area and we see this resistance area as the standard FIP retracement zone for wave B. So doesn't mean we have to get there, but it means that as long as we stay below the $104 level and price doesn't break and sustain above it, downside in a C wave is still anticipated. Um, at any point it can turn around here because we are in the larger support area. But for now, I see no evidence that it is turning around. I would need to see a first impulse to the upside of a decent size and a three wave pullback. But at the moment, there isn't such a pullback or anything or any impulse to the upside. So overall, the trend is likely to head down a little lower. Um, we can add a bit of a trend line here. Um, it's only two touch points, but experience shows that sometimes when you have those relevant spikes you connect the spikes and you get this trend line that if we get a retracement maybe in the b wave that it has a good chance of reacting to it for example here the combination of the 50 percent fib level or the golden ratio around 102 103 dollars and the trend line yeah and then one more wave down that could be it which will be interesting but overall no change um the the move up was quite impulsive with an ending diagonal here at the end and the move down currently looks fairly corrective, fairly choppy. So it rather confirms at the moment the idea that we are still in an overall uptrend, but the view has to change below $88. Okay, that's my update about Litecoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.